guys, I'm Water C2 from uklocksport.co.uk. Um, last week, I think Mark Guards did a video of his um, pinning tools and asked if I'd do a quick video, so here it is. Um, I've not got a great deal of sort of bits and bats because I've not long been sort of messing about with taking locks apart. But as you can see, there's like um, a pin tub there, what I call it. And I bought this from sort of JTF um, sort of store. You can buy them for putting anything you want in, but as you can see, it works out fantastic for pins and stuff. So got springs in the sort of top left. These pins are spools. These are like T-pin type security pins, etc. Not a huge amount in there. And they're serrated pins. Sort of circle clips in there and I also keep my tweezers in though. The pins just down here are all sort of standard key pins, driver pins etc. So there is quite a lot in there. I've just noticed a spring in there as well which I'll have to move into that. My plug followers that were made for me by Bosnian Bill and the pinning tray from the lock lab. It's fantastic bit of kit is that um, plug followers say there's brass ones here a couple of different sizes an aluminium one made for me by a great guy at work who's outstanding on a milling machine here's my tweezers which I use these were literally purchased from one of these beauty type shops pair of nails saw them and thought they'd be perfect and they are they work wonders i first started off using these self gripping um, type tweezers um, but i just cannot get used to them it's quite awkward for me personally when i'm actually trying to put a lock back into the bible on the springs and pushing the plug follower through i just can't get the hang of using these so I've literally just stuck those in a cupboard, uh, maybe as backups, but I've never really used them as backups at all. Um, these are locks that I've actually stripped down, so they're, they're completely empty. But what I've done is obviously when I've sent care packages out, um, these have all been like full euros. I've literally cut them in half, sent one half out, and obviously gutted the others obviously for my pinning kits uh, so it is sort of recycling as well because I save these if anybody at some point wants a, a lock repinning the lad at work that made me these plug followers is a sort of bit of a lock sport just getting into it so a few of these I've actually um, pinned up for him training lock starting with a couple of pins in the chambers and then as he's picked them he's brought them back in and I've then put more pins in and a couple of spools etc so that's just my pinning bits and pieces like I say there's not a great deal there but while we've got the camera on I might as well show you my little lock collection some Americans at the back there sort of older vintage type ones these are the um, Abus Titanium locks that I really, really love. I think they're outstanding locks. Um, Pepe's locks. There's a cutaway one there. I like the Pepe's. A lot of these padlocks just at the back there. Um, I like dimple padlocks as well. A vintage lock collection. I don't think you can see that because the glistening of the lights let's see if I can open this also if you've noticed a plaster on my little finger guys I nearly chopped it off yesterday when cooking so that's the top shelf obviously that Yale in the training board isn't a vintage but it looks nice on display and that's the other side keys as well middle shelf 
quite a few nice ones on there and that's the bottom shelf if you notice on some of these they're actually turning green and I was baffled why but I think it turns out that the gloss paint that's on the back I had to repaint it because it was sort of a right mess but I think the solvents in the gloss even though it's dry for some reason are actually turning the, some of the brass locks green as you can tell probably with that old Yale there let's show that while we're recording um, this is my, my sort of my little workstation at the back of my kitchen these tubs are absolutely fantastic as you can see they're loaded up with locks many different ones all my sort of euro cylinders in there and this is a lovely lock it's from an old triumph spitfire car found that at work so that's a nice one Peugeot 306 door lock again from work I've picked that up and I've not got it on video yet my other bits and pieces um, spare keys pliers little tray there with bits and pieces in so yep yeah, that's just my little workstation vintage locks as you can probably see photographs of my little lad as you can see we love him to bits <laughs> and I love black and white photography so they do look really nice so I know it wasn't a lock picking video guys but um, just thought I'd do that little video of my pinning bits and pieces and my locks while filming so if you are newbies to Locksport guys why not come and visit us at www.uklocksport.co.uk thanks for watching and even though it's not a lock picking video happy picking and please keep it legal